Okay, I think we should start. So, uh, yeah, welcome everybody, and uh, we are going to talk about the, well exploring the, the Linux kernel source code with Eclipse and and Qt Creator, actually. So, my name is Marcin Bis, and well, I'm running a, a small, very small engineering company in Poland. And well, the, the first thing we we do uh, or I do is our projects. Uh, like debugging some di driver problems uh, well uh, the video is playing too too slow for example if we if we lick a finger put on pcb it's playing even slower and so on so uh, this kind of task needs to just jump into the driver and fix something analyze something and so on and then i'm providing the trainings and particularly the linux trainer development so this is the training the engineers come to to learn about how to debug and, and write the device drivers. And actually, we need a, a proper tool for, for this. So the, the problem is that the Linux kernel contains the vast amount of codes, like the millions lines of codes. You can easily find uh, how much is it. Uh, well, it, it, it consists of actually the kernel mechanisms, which are well very fine and very complicated code. Uh, yeah, there were some to topics discussed in the conference, like the interrupts and, and so on. So it's, it's complicated. There are functions that are or are not called. Yeah, it, you, you, you need a way to, to, to see this. So all the virtual frame systems, IPCs, RCU, and all the frameworks are here. And we have the device drivers uh, code. Well, the, 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 we, we do a lot of programming here. Uh, well, device drivers is mostly the boilerplate code, like put the value into the register. There's no place for fancy algorithms. Actually, I have to know the frameworks, to, to use the frameworks. Well, so the, the first problem is I have to have a quick look into the kernel source code, into the frameworks, into the drivers. And actually, what I see depends on the kernel configuration, kernel version, and sometimes the compiler version. So that's the first problem. And the second problem I have is to, to introduce new newcomers. So I've got the engineers who were probably before working on some embedded systems regarding microcontrollers, and they are used to uh, the, the idea that they, they have the IDE, and they configure the project, then, then upload the project, and, and write it to the microcontroller. So it's hard to, to tell them it's not possible in, in Linux. Yes, by, by default. Uh, so we have, we have the problem. So the, the solution, of course, is to use VI or Emacs, which are uh, both great IDEs or editors. Uh, they can be configured using scripts. Uh, actually, excurrent syntax uh, supported in the kernel. Uh, there's also a C-scope text-based tool to, to view, to, to, to get into the, the source code. Well, actually, I, I used both of this, but well, people nowadays are used to using mouse clicking and having multiple windows. So yeah, that, that's, that's nice, but well, it's, it doesn't get them the, the idea if they are newcomers. Uh, there are some tools like Elixir, Linux cross-reference. Yeah, we have a site. Works. Uh, so uh, you, you can see all the source code here. The problem is this source code is not configured. It's just a source code taken from kernel org, put here, and everything in indexed. So if I if I click on the symbol, and the symbol is defined in multiple architectures, I will just just see the yeah, disambiguation window instead of well, the, the the proper definition. And sometimes I do not know which one is it. Uh, it also uh, requires the access to the internet. Of course, you can you can you can configure a local copy, but well, it's it's quite complicated. So we will cover the two solutions: the Eclipse and Qt Creator. Starting with the Eclipse, and there's also K KDevelop, which actually uh, well is is the great ID, and there's a plugin for the Linux kernel. But well, uh, Eclipse and QDevelop has the marketing. Uh, yeah, marketing is rolling. So Eclipse is the base of almost every, um, every, every IDE now. So I, I get people that were working with Wind River, DS5, uh, Times is Timestorm. Everything is built on the Eclipse. 
Uh, so this is the last solution. So we can have a commercial ID, pay a dollar, usually per seat. And here's the example. It's not advertisement. I'm not affiliated with the company, but well, it's Eclipse based. Uh, I, I used it in, in the project. Uh, it includes uh, proprietary plugins, which uh, Eclipse license allows, and it's licensed per seat. Yeah, so you can just pay dollars and have a one click uh, install of the Linux kernel project. Yeah, so that, that's all for today. Thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, it's a, it's a joke. Uh, yeah, we are going to do the same with the, using the open source tool, uh, and it will take something like uh, half an hour. Yeah, every time you, you have to configure the project, it takes half an hour, if you, or, or five minutes if you know what to do. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, something like this is our goal. Uh, it's, it's similar with, with well, various, uh, various and other commercial IDs. Okay, uh, the first thing, the Eclipse. Uh, Eclipse has multiple versions. Actually, I've got one in Ubuntu. Uh, I used the one where I was using the Ubuntu 14.04. This is Eclipse 3.8. Now I have Ubuntu 16.04, and it's also Eclipse 3.8. They do not update this. Probably Eclipse is, is more Red Hat affiliated. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, we can, we can use the newer version. Uh, there's a Kepler, Luna, Mars, and Neon. Uh, well, this is important because uh, actually for, for basic kernel and, and external modules configuration, you can use any version of Eclipse, but um, some fancy features begin from, uh, for example, Luna, which has uh, tracing tools um, integrated, and Mars and Neon, and there are some, some additional problems also. So the first thing is to download the Eclipse, uh, set the proper Java version, in case of Java, you, you, you may have in your distribution multiple revisions installed, so there's update alternatives minus minus config Java to, to select the one. Uh, then just untar it and run it. Actually, there are two hints. Uh, first of all, if you set the path or include all the environments uh, created by Yocto build system, for example, uh, it will be easier to configure because all the environmental variables will be here for, for use. Uh, then, well, unfortunately, in my Xubuntu, Eclipse is looking awful. So it's, it's totally crap how it looks, how the, how the interface uh, is, is shown because it's using the SWT. In Java, render it's using the GTK3. Well, we have to force it to, to GTK2. It looks better. Uh, I have tested on other distributions and the, the problem is, is not, not here. Okay, uh, so uh, the basic idea, uh, the kernel sources has to be configured uh, before we will start to load it into the IDE. Uh, at least initial steps of build process has to be uh, executed. Well, actually there are lots of build steps depending uh, by the kernel version make modules prepare would be, would be the good one. And uh, this is because include generated is uh, well generated inside of kernel module. And most important thing is it contains the autoconf.h, uh, which is generated from .config. Depending on the kernel version, there are another files spread through the uh, kernel source code also generated. Like uh, before using device tree for ARM, there used to be the unique machine version for each board and, well, the file containing the machine version was also generated during the build step from the text file. So the autoconf h, uh, this one is mo most important. Well, then we create the new C project. Uh, easy to the, to the point. Uh, what are the problems here? I have to set the name. This is the name of the directory that will be created in the workspace. Indexes will be stored here. Uh, then I already have the source code, so I have to point it to uh, a location when I, when I put the source code. Um, all the project configuration will be stored in the kernel source code. So uh, yeah, make sure you are using, uh, not, not using any temporary file, like uh, if, you, if you use Eclipse and remove all your work after building. Uh, it's not a good idea to point it to the, to the directory that may be removed. 
if the Eclipse will lost the file, well, the project will be gone. Uh, yeah, we are, we, we, kernel is built using make files, so uh, we choose the make file project. This will make um, Eclipse not generate its own make file. Eclipse is quite good at generating own make files or using autoconf tools. Uh, in, in this case, we use the, the make file and set the cross GCC. And uh, well, it doesn't allow us to, to, to set what the cross tools will be, will be used. So what's, what's next? Well, project is created. The indexer starts for the newest 4.8 kernel. It's something like 44,000 files. Uh, yeah, which, is, which are being indexed. Um, well, uh, make sure you're using 46-bit version of the distribution, because in, in case of 32-bit, you will exhaust your process address space very soon. And also make sure you, are, you have more than two gigabytes of, uh, of, of, of RAM, because yeah, you will exhaust it also. Uh, well, fortunately, if it hangs, yeah, you, can, you can rerun it, and well, the indexer will start from the beginning. So that's nice. The project, the project is created, but well, uh, it's barely usable. The only thing I have, I have the colors, colored syntax. Uh, the macros are not understood. Yeah, this is just a warning. And well, uh, if I, if, if I, if I, well, uh, try to control click on this platform driver, I will, send, I, I will see nothing. Yeah, it, it won't be, it won't be resolved. Yeah, so that's the, that's the idea. I try to control click and it's resolved. So um, at this point, a, a little disclaimer. Eclipse shows the seven errors here. And actually, that's because, well, first, we didn't, do not configure it yet. Second, well, the Eclipse indexer is actually a bit different from the, what the GCC is, is doing. So it will never be perfect. So the, the goal is to have a, uh, either configured to, to be good enough to develop the external uh, kernel modules, for example. Uh, yeah, so I just modified the project settings. And the first thing we have to do uh, is, well, uh, the, everything, of course, depends on the, on, on the kernel version we, we are using here. But this configuration is for the newest one. Uh, so I just force include. Uh, some files. So the first one is the autoconf h. Yeah, you can see without autoconf h, yeah, the top one, uh, config of is great. Uh, we don't see it. Actually, it is set in the kernel configuration, so Eclipse didn't see it. After including autoconf h, the situation is better. Yeah. So uh, we, we have to uh, include generated autoconf h for all the versions of Eclipse and all the versions of kernel. The file has to be set as a, a preprocessor macros file, which changes the way it is seen by Eclipse. Well, there, there are options like uh, include file or a macros file. Yeah, so, so this one has to be in the macros file. For newer versions of kernel, there's a include config k config h, which actually includes the, auto, the generated file, uh, plus it defines some macros to, to operate uh, on, on the variables, like instead of if defined, um, the code also can check if is module, for example. So the is module ma macro is, is actually generated here. Um, yeah, so before and after. Next thing, uh, I also include the print k, uh, sometimes another files. It, it will depend on, on the output. Yeah, it's like the you know, control loop. I, I just get the output. I can see that, well, Eclipse says this line is error. So I can see this error led to, for example, lacking definition of VA list from the compiler. So I add file here. So those two is, is good enough. Like 99% of the code will be readable. Um, next thing, Eclipse tries to be smart. So it, being smart uh, means it calls the uh, compiler, asking the compiler about the default includes. And actually, it's asking the compiler, well, just the GCC, usually. It's using the compiler variable, not even the CC variable. So uh, even, even under the Eclipse and uh, the, the Yocto environment, it, it, it's not, not fixed. Uh, yeah, so uh, we have to turn off the provider or 
there's a possibility to change um, the name of the of the compiler to our cross uh, version. Well, it's, it doesn't matter a, a lot. Okay, the next thing uh, is we have just removed uh, from Eclipse its, its default include directories. It will not ask the compiler, so we, we have to do we have to provide something something uh, else. So I just run the kernel compilation in verbose mode, v equals one. Uh, I get something like this. I, it's just like uh, you know, for every file it produces the line like this. Actually, the line is well like two, two, two lines more than, than you can see on the slide. And what's important? Well, you, you, you can see in bold all the includes, arc arm include. Uh, the architecture is set in, in, in the external variable. The cross compile is also set here. Uh, the symbol is defined, the kernel, and another symbol is defined, the Linux ARM arc equals seven. So uh, this is a configuration for the Raspberry Pi kernel right now. Uh, yeah, you, you can see the, the compiler options, and there are some more variables. Uh, Defined like the K build mode name, but the, this, this is file specific, so uh, those at the top are, are global. Yeah, so uh, I have to set the paths and symbols. So, so set proper include directories yeah, according to this. And well, the good enough configuration would be to include include and arc architecture include. Actually, we, we have arm here, uh, I tested in on uh, MIPS. Uh, on PowerPC and also x86, that, that, that some Intel Edison boards. It's, it's more or less the same. Uh, sometimes, for, some, for quite older boards, like uh, OMAPs, for example, from, from Texas Instruments, you also have uh, ARC our Mac include and PLAT include. So this also may be include. So this is, this is the good enough configuration for, for external, external driver development. Uh, well, the better configuration will be to add everything from here. And also, you can notice there is an iSystem directory. And the iSystem directory is actually taken from the compiler, but it is not compiler sysroot. It is like, uh, it is internal compiler or libgcc headers. And, well, the, the C standard specified something like uh, VA arcs definitions, VA arcs macros. And there are actually functions to process them, and the, the variable types like VA list are defined in, in a compiler specific files. So, adding this uh, may uh, allow me to well, see uh, something like print case better, depending on the configuration, because well, the, the print case can be, for example, um, configured as dynamic print case, and then it's well, heavy use of, of VA list and, and, and VA macros. Okay, I said the symbols. Uh, all the versions of Eclipse do, do not allow, uh, like Juno, I think, do not allow me to set the, the, the symbol without value. So I can just put the, the, any value for the kernel symbol. In case of Linux Arc ARM, it's actually important. It's, it's, it's pointing to the, the variant of the architecture. So I, I've got ARM, ARM v7 here. Well, uh, it's Raspberry Pi 3. So for, for Raspberry Pi 1, it probably will be ARM v6. So it's, 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 it's quite important because uh, the variables are used actually in code to, to split the code for, for a different uh, definition. So you can see it, that ARM v7 uh, specifies the DSB um, assembler instructions, the data synchronization barrier to, to just uh, make sure the variable gets to the, to the memory. And in case of ARM, uh, ARM version 6, we have the MCR, which is calling the cache controlling coprocessor to, to just set it some comments. So probably the DSB is faster, but yeah, I, I want to see the, uh, it, it, how, how actually it's, it's implemented here. Yeah, the next thing, uh, I said um, some functions are um, defined architecture specific. So yeah, I have, to, I have to set the filter to actually remove uh, some directories from indexer. Uh, I, I, I do not want it to go to any, um, any directory under arc, instead of arc arm, arc arm only. I also remove tools, scripts, and documentation. Tool, tools and scripts has various tools, and for example, 
there are well some common data structures like uh, the list age or, or something like this seen here. So yeah, that's that's quite trivial. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is nice hack. If I would like to make it faster, I would just uh, remove the index file, uh, remove from the index the files that are not built. Well, the Eclipse has the output parser, so it actually it's uh, it's somewhere here in the providers. Yeah, we have the the first one, the, the GCC build output parser. It, it can parse the, the, the compiler output and, well, it can see which files are actually being built, which, which are not, probably. I do not want to uh, index files I do not want to build. Well, the last step is to have a um, make, the proper make command uh, to, 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 to actually uh, be able to compile the kernel. Uh, well, this will depend on your configuration uh, if you have an uh, environment uh, included from Yocto generated SDK, uh, probably setting arc arm and cross compile is not needed here because well it, it, it will it will use this from the environment. Uh, some environment variables can be set here. Yeah, we can actually decide if uh, Eclipse is resetting the default environment or, or is adding uh, some variables here. So yeah the, the patch for example can be can be generated. And, uh, well, the index is to be rebuilt. And after rebuilding the index, we have something like, um, while rebuilding the index, we have something like uh, 13,000 files instead of 44,000. So that's the improvement. Uh, well, and it will, the index will take uh, something like 800 to, to 1.1 gigabyte, depending on actually the kernel configuration, the kernel version. So it's, it's huge. Yeah. Uh, it runs very slow in virtual machines, for example. Also, also it's, it's a lot of I/O here done from the Java. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we can we can build the kernel here. Uh, well, actually, uh, this one can be done from the terminal, and it actually doesn't doesn't uh, yeah, get us any, anything new than this. Uh, I have the console output. Uh, I will be also seeing problems probably, so the configuration is good enough, not all problems will be removed. Uh, the good idea is to uh, create additional make targets, which can be run from Eclipse just by clicking on them, uh, like uh, building that image, building DTB, or a specific DTB, or, or every uh, yeah, DTB S, DTB is compatible. Uh, yeah, so uh, actually, usually I'm using the kernel project like this. I've got it configured here for the, for the board I'm running. So you can see there's a Linux RPI, uh, the documentation, scripts, tools are not indexed, and we can, we can look at some files like, um, let's see, drivers, um, I square C, uh, buses, for example, I square CBCM 2708. So this is the driver for 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 this board. Actually, uh, well, the kernel was built. I have all the fancy things like if I hover the platform driver, I will get the definition. If I control click on the platform driver, I'll, I will go to the definition. Yeah, so that's very nice for learning and exploring the kernel. Uh, there are some problems, like uh, it doesn't like module init. Uh, it's unused declaration. Well, I can just uh, turn off showing warnings, but well, uh, I, I need. Uh, I would like to have, to have a warning in my in my source code. Uh, there are also some additional things, like the false is not defined. Yeah, and actually, what else? Okay, the false, false, and uh, the, doesn't like module param. It's syntax error, but control clicking on module param gets me to the to the definition. Yeah, so so it's it's nice for the point, and and it 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 allows me to to, to develop the code. Well, actually, uh, this false is intentional. Uh, we can see the project configuration here, and. Uh, I've got paths and symbols. I didn't add that the uh, compiler internal 
definitions. So the, the false and the VA arcs are defined inside of the compiler libgcc, actually. So I didn't, didn't add this. Yeah, so uh, it's depending on the compiler and on, on the version and the configuration. Yes, so for, uh, for out of three uh, kernel modules, well, the configuration is basically the same. Um, I have a project cre created here, not this one, LDD, uh, this one, which is built using the make file. Uh, so if I include my uh, Yocto environment, I can just make the project and while well, the first .ko module was built, it was built against the, the kernel placed in Linux Raspberry Pi. This is the same that the clip shows. Uh, well, so I create this new C project. It's a makefile project. I include the autoconf h, print k h. I turn off the, the default uh, toolchain includes. I set the includes. I include our arm include. I, I, I set the, the, the symbols. I do not define the filter here. The filter is, is per project. And here I'm using all the includes and, and other things. I'm referring to the project, another project in the same workspace. Um, OK, so I, I've, got, I've got the project here. So um, it's called LDD. And you can see it will build. Yeah, so console shows everything is OK. Uh, the problems are still here. So the, the quick hint is do not look at the problems. Yeah, it's Eclipse problem, not, not yours, actually. Uh, so so that's, the, that's the idea. Mm, Eclipse has the feature here. I can define uh, for the LDD project another targets like clean or deploy. And actually, clean and deploy have to be defined in my make file. Yeah, so deploy will SCP the module to the, to the remote system, actually. Uh, yes. So yeah, the result is well, quite, quite nice uh, IDA configured to, uh, to, 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 to able me to, to configure them. To, to, to work on the kernel project, I, I can hover it, I can do the, the, the mouse button over, over the variable, I can just control click the variable. Yeah, so actually that's the demo. Uh, so yeah, if I deploy, I, did just, I just did make deploy, it was copied to the target. Uh, so yeah, I'm loaded here and I can just in smot first ko and the mask tail shows that loading first is, is actually actually done. Uh, so uh, this is for uh, yeah, r r developing the, the, the kernel driver. Uh, Eclipse has uh, na also also another nice feature. Well, my mm, Raspberry Pi system here was built using uh, uh, using Yocto and for a, a quick demo, I just set um, this is called the extra image features to include a tools profile. And you can see here. So if the kernel configuration allows it, uh, if the config trace points is enabled, uh, I will get the ability to use the LTTNG. So let's LTTNG create a configuration. Uh, LTTNG is the uh, kernel profiler, which is built well out of kernel. And it's actually one flag in, in Yocto here. Uh, so running LTTNG create uh, lets me uh, load the modules for me. It's using the K probes, it's using the F trace to, 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 to the various traces. Mm, uh, I can LTTNG. Uh, enable event kernel all. Oops, sorry. Too much. LTTNG, yes, this one. Uh, or kernel events, LTTNG 
start. Uh, yeah, so, so system is, is uh, saving the trace. Now, uh, so the two is Raspberry Pi. Let's ping fluid it for a moment. And now I got LTTNG stop and LTTNG destroy, uh, which will actually save all the data and unload the modules. Um, the session is created here, LTTNG traces. So let's copy this. Traces, sorry. And I've got it here. And actually, Eclipse already has a trace compass include that, so uh, we can change the perspective here. It's open perspective or window open perspective. I have the LTTNG kernel perspective, uh, and I'm creating the new project, new tracing project here in this perspective. Uh, let's give it whatever name, just a test. And actually, yeah, in the workspace, the project is created here. So I've got traces, and I will open the trace. Mm, and actually, I just copied the file to my home directory. So let's see this, LTTNG traces. There is an auto here with today's date, and I'm opening the metadata. Uh, okay, so Eclipse should open it. It's 7.5 7 megabytes. Well, it, it became quite huge in a moment. And you can actually uh, see an arrow here, what is calling what. And well, the problem with such traces is, well, they are good if you are debugging some problem with uh, some deadlocks or some processes or some real-time applications. They are not so good if I just uh, yeah, randomly grab it and, and show it to you. Uh, so actually, for an for a example, I have something like this. Yeah, we, can, we can switch to the resources here and see the interrupts and what the CPUs are doing. And actually, this is an example of, uh, well, why, why the soft IRQs are, are good. And so you can see the CPU is running the IRQ here and the IRQ line is locked. And then it's offloading the processing to the bottom half. So this amount of time, the CPU is processing the data, but only this amount of time, it is, uh, the, the interrupt line is, is, is locked and it doesn't accept an interrupt. So, uh, yeah, so, so you can see this, uh, how the, the, the code from the top uh, is running. It's, it's from IMX6 Ultralight, I, I think. So the, the interrupt processing. So, so this is also good for profiling and it's a good, good, good learning tool. Uh, okay, uh, another thing, the Eclipse can do is being the GDB frontend. Uh, so uh, you, can, you can use the JTAG to, to actually trigger the, the CPU and connect to board, or you can use the KGDB. Uh, KGDB has to be compiled. KGDB is using the serial port in polling mode. So uh, GDB is connecting to the kernel here, and this kernel only starts and hangs on, on KGDB. Yeah, we need a, a serial console to, to do this. Uh, actually, th there is a, one exception. Up to the point, we did everything just using Eclipse without installing any additional plugins. Now we have to install plugin, but well, uh, this plugin is usually the part of any commercial ID based on Eclipse, and it also uh, is from the standard repository. So it's a GCC GDB hardware debugging. Uh, for, for connecting um, uh, the, the debugging uh, well, perspective to, to another to, 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 to external process, uh, external device. So, um, well, the thing we would uh, like to put for the debugger's application is a VM Linux. So, uh, actually, uh, what we are running in Linux Raspberry Pi is Arc Arm boot Z image, which is compressed image. Uh, and in VM Linux, I have the L file, 
which is uh, linked during the build process, and then, well, the parts of this ELF file are cut, compressed, and here the zit image is built. Uh, actually, the good idea was to, is to configure the kernel with debugging symbols. Uh, well, I can see uh, the size for the VM Linux is not. It would be like 10 times more for, for the VM Linux. Well, uh, that image is, is, would be the same. So I'm including the VM Linux. I'm setting the uh, remote debugger, a TTY USB 0, and make sure the user running the Eclipse has access to the TTY USB 0. Uh, and actually, it's quite spectacular, but it works. But, well, disclaimer, that the KGDB is very good for presentation. It's not, not so good if you are trying to do an uh, actual work with it. Well, usually something hangs. Uh, usually you have to use the $30 USB to TTL serial dongle instead of uh, 50 cent one and uh, so on. So, so it's very, very fragile. Uh, actually, it's like one each five times I'm able to, to get to the screen here if, if doing it, it's uh, live. Uh, so actually, actually, you can see it's, uh, uh, it's waiting for KGDB breakpoint all the time. Uh, well, in JTAG, I have the stop line, so I can just uh, stop the CPU or break the CPU and see what it's doing. In case of KGDB, well, everything is polled. So kernel has to poll me, poll the GDB, and GDB has to send it the, the command. If kernel doesn't poll, well, I, I don't see anything. So things like uh, step into, step over here are actually working like setting the uh, breakpoint after the next line and then running the code. Uh, it should fall into breakpoint or sometimes not. Uh, yeah, so uh, it works better with JTAG, but well, the more expensive the JTAG, the, the better the, the idea. So uh, this, is, this is basically yeah, what can be done using the clips. And well, I, I actually use it for my project and for the training. And well, uh, people, especially those used to Microsoft tools, are very happy. Like. Uh, it's it's five after five days of, of of running terminal commands they have well we can work like this uh, yeah so so that's that's the one so in case of Qt Creator well the background is the same you also have to uh, get the uh, you, you get the kernel configure it uh, build it in verbose mode to get the includes it's just the configuration is a bit different uh, so. You do not have to click so much. So I get the Qt Creator from a Qt open source bundle, of course, from, from the installer. And we have something like uh, projects. Mostly there are Qt based projects. This tool is designed for, for Qt actually. Um, and this is quite counterintuitive. I have to import existing project here. So I'm importing existing project, putting the name, the location where my kernel sources are. Uh, and then I have the file selection. So this is more or less the Eclipse filter. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's, it's nicer here, so I just, uh, well, um, turned off every architecture from Arc I'm not using. Uh, I also uh, turned off every Mach uh, I'm not using. This configuration example is for, for BeagleBone Black. Uh, so uh, documentation, tool scripts also. Uh, so, so this one, uh, yeah, so it asks me if, if I would like to add it to Git or any other build system. Then the parsing C++ file starts. Uh, it's actually doing it every time I start it. And, well, it takes like the, the tenth of the time that Eclipse uses it. And, well, the amount of data is not, not, so, not so big also. Um, then I have to do the more, more or less same steps. Uh, define... Um, includes, define um, the symbols, and well, exclude. Yeah, so I also ex exclude the directories. Uh, there's no clickable interface here. I have three files created. Uh, the project includes, project files, and project config. Uh, actually, I do not touch project files. It was uh, set here. So uh, I just type the include paths. Um, I just type the uh, into the config, the symbols. Uh, I missed Linux ARM arc here, as you can see. It's also needed. 
I can force include some files instead of including the directories. And well, uh, that's, that's it. The project is configured. Uh, to compile it, I also have to, in the project setting, define the cross compiler. So uh, that's the idea, and well, it's more or less the same um, as, uh, as, as in, in Eclipse. Well, in, in Qt Creator, you have to control click on each symbol. Well, the hovering doesn't, doesn't allow you to do this. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, that's, that's all. I fit it in, in time. Uh, so yeah, so, so for, the, for the end, uh, both Eclipse and Qt Creator can, can be used. Uh, well, Qt Creator is lacking uh, things like uh, yeah, trace compass. You have to use the external application. Uh, yeah, bo both uh, remote debugging can be configured, but it's, well, uh, KGDB is, is unstable with, with the, this, this setup like this. Uh, and well, it gets me, uh, gets the people that the boost in learning how to develop uh, the kernel drivers and do, do they work. So uh, yeah, the, the tools are very, very nice and yeah, please use them. Yeah, so do you have any questions, comments? Yes? What about editing kernel code? Um, having symbols auto completion for, for beginners that sounds like a useful feature. Yes, uh, I have, I have uh, auto completion for, uh, for the code. So let's see. Uh, for the code and for the modules, it's like the, the, the same, yeah? So I, I, let, me, let me get the, um, the modules so I can just, uh, yeah, loading first and uh, let's do something like, uh, well, uh, static struct time val and let's save the time the kernel was um, so it will be uh, this no get do get time yeah that's a good do thank you uh, do get oh actually it doesn't work get time of day mm, yeah it it works time val and let's see, uh, oh yeah, static, there's an error here, so yeah. static students start time, so uh, we have a do get time of day start time, it shows me this. Uh, there's also a feature that if I, if I just do the control shift N for the symbol, it automatically added the Linux timekeeping H. So that's a great feature. There's like tons of uh, tons of uh, well shortcuts in here. Yeah. So let's do get time of day here and let's uh, struct and time and let's. Uh, Do get time of day of the end time. And after percent LD seconds, and it should be um, end time dot TV sec. Uh, sorry, TV sec minus start time uh, tv sec. Mm, the small problem, it doesn't uh, save before build, so I have to type control S. I did it automatically, actually. Uh, it can be configured. So let's uh, build, let's deploy, and now we have a module that, yeah, so in mod first KO and after a while if I remod this it's uh, yeah it's uh, three seconds 
Yeah, so this is fast kernel development. Yeah? And you can do it on the modules, and you can also do it on, on, the, uh, uh, on the kernel source itself. Uh, depending on the version, it, well, the Eclipse may have some problems. It, it has the problems with module init, module exit. It also may have some problems with print k, for example, which is not, not so fine. Um, and, uh, well, uh, uh, depending on the, on the kernel configure, depending on the version. Uh, if, you, if you set the dynamic print case to be enabled, it doesn't like print case. Uh, once I have also the problem with container off, for example, uh, which, is, which is not so, uh, not so nice. Let's see this version. Oh, sorry, this is the user space code. Uh, let's see, this example, this example is using the container of, and actually, yeah, I can see all the container of magic. Yeah, the container of allows you to get the pointer to the structure containing the structure you have the pointer to. Yeah, so it's, it's used widely. Okay, so, any questions? Yes? Uh, well, it's, it's, it's required to build the kernel, but actually in, in case of Eclipse, the, the kernel is built and we just want to see this. So Eclipse has to uh, do the initial steps of building actually, yeah, so to, to, to parse the source code. Uh, so uh, we, we include the autoconf h uh, to uh, make it see the parts of files that are, well, de depending on the defines or, and, and not see uh, any parts. So if we for example, CNA task struct. This is control shift R also, a quick, quick search. So we can see that actually the task struct, yes, this is the structure representing the, the process, um, it has uh, something great out. So this is the config preempt notifiers and actually the preempt notifiers is the configuration option. So I got this one because I have included the autoconf page. And the kconfig.h uh, is uh, in the newer kernels. Uh, if it is, it should be included because, well, this one is actually including the autoconfh plus defining some macros. Uh, yes? Uh, yes, I, uh, I actually did do this because, well, um, Yocta is using a lot of variables. So actually I have a script, I, I'm running, it's labs eclipse, and I have something like eclipse run, uh, yeah, for this RPI sage, and this one is doing a configuration for me. Uh, I can also uh, set the variables in the project configuration, but well, uh, with, with all the settings that Yocta is doing, it's a mess. For a, if I'm using the Linaro toolchain, the only, only, only the path is important, yeah? And in case of, uh, in case of Yocta, actually the script is, let's see. Yeah, it's setting all the variables, yeah? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. The, well, the question is, is, is any, any way of estimating the memory uh, and time for requir the requirements for, for indexer? I I'm, do not know. It's like run it and uh, try and, and it, if it fail, just rerun it. Well, um, actually, it's, uh, the Java allows me to set something like Eclipse Ini inside of Eclipse, and I can set the memory yeah, the, the two lines at the, at the end. So XMS, XMX. The one is yeah, when the, the garbage collector starts, another one is the amount of shared memory. So if it fails, uh, the thing I do is just increase the values. Yeah, you, can, you can find it in the Java reference. And well, yes, please. Uh, yeah, it's a good question. Uh, so, so if you, the, the question is how it integrates with menu config. Um, so uh, the idea is that uh, if I do the menu config, so 
Yes, uh, so, so this, this kernel sources are extracted from Yocto. Yes, so I'm, I'm running the Yocto build system, but I, I take away uh, the kernel and configuration and patches from Yocto. Yes, so it's separated. So um, if I make arc arm menu config, uh, well, this is the Yocto toolchain, sorry, and, and the cars is not, not here. Yeah, so if I just run it in the in the shell, uh, let's paste it here. If I if I change some option, let's device drivers something. Well, the dot config was changed. Uh, there's a dot config dot config dot alt. Uh, the var the value is set here, but well, it will be set in autoconf h seen by Eclipse why I rebuild the kernel. So configure it and build it. That's the idea. You can also yeah, read them, make how to extract the steps needed for uh, just get, getting the autoconf h generated. Uh, well, uh, it depends on your, on your workflow. Like I'm, I'm covering the workflow when you have the Yocto recipe, you are building on the build server, and you have the copy of the kernel on your local machine you are developing. So you just, I just created the configuration, so I upload the configuration to the recipe, it will rebuild next, next time. Uh, for KGDB, well, I, I used uh, well two two main vendors here. This is this is the pro pro prolific, I think, and FTDI, and well, the FTDI chip seems to work better. But well, the the best idea is the investment in in JTAC if you if you have to. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, uh, well, usually I I leave it to the hardware guys. I, I'm a software guy, and. <laughs> Uh, actually, in, in case of OpenOCD, you have, you have another program that may fail. So uh, I, I personally was working with the FTDI chips with OpenOCD. They are more stable than uh, KGDB, but less stable than dedicated JTAGs for a set-top box development kit, for example. Uh, so so it's, it's, well, hard to estimate like, like this. Okay, thank you. We are running out of time, I'm afraid. So, yeah, we can, you can, you can get me. I'm, I'm here at the conference. Yeah. So, thank you very much.